tell you something, folks. When you start living two lives and you're married to a, just like me, to a Filipina here, and you're combining cultures together, their life, their lifestyle, their customs, and then yours as well, you'll find yourself with things around that you've never seen before. Uh, coconut broom, their native broom for sweeping around outside and doing stuff. That's like their workhorse broom right there. And not just one. Smiling about it, huh, Mel? <laughs> but she's got these things scattered everywhere. I saw one fell apart now in the shed over there. <laughs> and she uses these things constantly. So y'all comment and tell me, does your Filipina bring these coconut brooms to the U.S.? Plus, it is my, my dad is the one to make that one. So your dad made them. Yeah. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah. And then there is other things that happen in your life when you're trying to live two cultures together. They want to taste foods like from back home. I mean, you can cook up a meal here in the U.S. for your Asawa for your wife. It can be a full blown meal. And if it ain't a native meal from the Philippines, that's just a snack. Where's the where's the Filipino dish? That was just a snack, a treat. But the thing, we have a, there's a lot of good choices of food here, but we still looking our own food. You Your know? own flavor. Yes, our own so flavor. reason I'm showing this, I've shown this in the past. Y'all haven't seen these trees in a while. I want you to look at Melinda's Moringa Malunga, and y'all also have another way y'all call it, like with a B, like Balunga, Balunga, Malunga or Balunga. Malunga in Tagalog in our Pinaraya is uh, Balunga. Ah, so there you have it. These are so delicious, like making chicken tanola and these different dishes, which I think is about to happen with this. And she grew these from seed, right? Yeah, this one is uh, from seeds. Those seeds. are from seeds, and yeah, this your friend gave to you, yeah, right? Yeah, gave it to me. Yeah. And then over here, lemongrass. Of Look. course, malungay and lemongrass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the two main things. And then, uh, and then chilies. You gotta have chilies. You gotta have lemongrass, and you gotta have malungay. Fourteen lang manok. Yeah, there you go, right there. And then, of course, she's growing other th things like calabash out here, tomatoes, onions, garlic. So you just name the main ingredients. To a half of Philippine dishes, or more than half. Yeah, <laughs> You'll cut it off, and these things will just sprout out again. So you want to cut them to keep new growth. See yeah, where she like this one, this, like this. They yeah. Grow see up. where she chopped it, and then it springs out all this new growth around that cut. And that's what you do with these trees. Now, one of these is about to disappear and go somewhere else. Which one? This one. This, this one right here. So the one I was just showing you guys is tall. She is about to give that to her sister that's living over in Dallas right now. And in tradition of Philippine life, we raise chickens here. Now these chickens are still alive. She's just hanging them upside down by their feet right now. But you remember those chicks that we hatched out and we grew off? Well, this is a couple of the roosters out of those chicks. And Melinda's going to harvest these. And they're going to go to her sister's tomorrow yes. to make... No lang That's right. Here's, <laughs> here's all the ingredients right here. <laughs> all the ingredients right here. So that's that's pretty cool. You know, the life continues on. At least at our house it does. Some some Filipinas do abandon their culture when they come here. Or they try to fit into the American lifestyle and their husbands don't like it or something like that. And so some there don't have really like what we have yeah they don't have the resources that we do for you to keep on being a filipina in texas thus our channel is texas filipino so there you go well i told her i would help her um euthanize these two here real quick and we've got water here boiling we've got water here boiling and she's fixing to have a plucking good time well i euthanized them for her. And the wife is sad. It's kind of hard when you raise something like that yourself so close. Especially like you, yeah, that's the word, you close, and they're like a pets already. Yeah, she's got attached to them. And she really felt sorry to do that just then. It is hard, isn't because it? we grow from eggs. <laughs> Inside of our house. Everything. We raise them from the time they hatch, like everybody's seen on the videos. Then growing them feeding them 
every day you're out there with them talking to them yeah. That's why, like, uh, I mean, it's really, you know, like your pets that every time you come and feed it there, they just, they're just like normal, you know? They, you know, they're not like uh, some wild chicken that just go run away with you. Okay, <laughs> they just come close. So there's wild chickens. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I saw you get really them. choked up and I heard your nose sniffling there. So I'm like, yep, it happens to us in life, Mel. You know, we talked about that. I said, you know, I'm tired of killing and harvesting sometimes in my life. It's uh, it's tough. It's not always so easy to take a life. It's yeah, not. That's why I like so easy just to, to buy some stuff. To, and I feel like some other people that they, if it is uh, like a, they're the one to raise those uh, animals, it's really hard to harvest. Yeah. yeah so. That's why we don't have that beef in the freezer, isn't it? We keep getting soft every time it comes to actually okay, so take good. one out. We're like, man, but look how sweet he acts, and he's playful, or she's playful, and yeah. and all this, and you start getting a little bit more tender towards life. It's better you just let somebody to do it. <laughs> so, thus, we don't have beef in the freezer. We raise beef. We sell beef. We sell beef on the hold called on the hoof. <laughs> Still walking. But we don't have none in our freezer that's from the farm here because we just feel sad to do something like that with an animal that we've been so close with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we will. I mean, for me, like I go out and harvest a deer. I'm not emotionally attached with that deer. I haven't had that deer chase me and jump and play like the cow yesterday, for instance, we're raising here in the backyard or back pasture right now. I mean, she is really so excited when she sees us you but know and i'm just an example this from a chicken you know like we said we grow this from the eggs uh from you know i mean you really attach on it you know you see them you're you're excited when they you seeing them hatching and uh, growing we walk outside they all come to us mm. and not just for feed they like to just hang out wherever you're at and they'll scratch and feed on bugs and all wherever you're hanging out yeah, won't this they is the, the, the roaster we can't keep the roaster alive yeah. but the hens we keep it yeah you can't have so many roosters then you got a problem or they'll kill each other mm -hmm. the yeah. roosters will yeah, that's right. so it's kind of no choice so that's what she did she picked off a couple of roosters well man some of y'all haven't seen some of the gardening stuff going on lately show you here some of the peppers here still growing still blooming still harvesting constantly from them we haven't done a gardening update in a while, but let me tell you, it's still in full swing here. Just look at all these different peppers and things still growing. Look at this. Just covered up with them here. We have already removed a couple tomato plants, but we do have tomatoes still going here. As you can see down through here, and they got uh, new blooms all out around on them right now as well. Here's another tomato, and as you see, tomatoes all over it here, everywhere. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. And here we are already over in September. This is my olive tree here, and as you see, it even has olives on it. See that right there? Got some young little eggplants here on it. You don't see any big mature ones because she constantly harvests, harvests off of these, and we eat it constantly. So this is a loafa right here, still growing, still blooming, still producing. She said she harvested about eight off the loafa this morning, about eight of them. Got the ch some chickens, some adult chickens over in the chicken truck. You see she moves it around on the grass here. Got the scalabosh still growing. See that? Still going here. I know y'all had not seen none of this in months, but it's all still growing. And we are constantly eating from this. Constantly. Still lots of okra growing. Still blooming. Still producing. We get so much okra. We give a lot of this away. You can only eat so much of it. So a lot of it is given away. A little bit more eggplant here again. You can see she just likes to grow some of these in pots. That one's got a little something on it there see right there beautiful she grows these she just worked this spot here planting uh new 
garlic in there right now. I think that's what she told me. Yeah, she's planting garlic there at the moment. Of course, you know, I'm a Texan. And in Texas and all down the south here, pecans is a big thing. And it won't be long until it will be pecan harvest time will start. And these will start ripening up and falling to the ground everywhere. And that is something we really love. And we're kind of glad to be delayed also on this flight because we can be here to harvest these pecans before we go. Over here, Mel's had climbing spinach growing. She put it underneath this pecan tree to give it a break from some of that hot, hot Texas heat. And you see it really works too. She gets a little bit of manure and different compost and adds in these pots to keep the nutrients strong in it. But not fresh manure. She'll find old manure that's already broke down and she's got a little compost pile going as well. But her climbing spinach is doing very well and she'll put these little uh, sticks down in the pots and for that spinach to be able to climb up on it needs something to go up on so she'll just take little fallen limbs stick them in there and there you go a little bit of onions or chives where she can just chop the tops on those for dishes and our lemons, look at these, aren't those beautiful? They're just growing all around on here, all around this little tiny young tree. They're just all in here everywhere. So that's pretty cool. We have all these things that we can enjoy. We have a young calamansi right here, but it has not produced yet. But maybe this upcoming year, I'm anticipating it'll probably have little calamansi all over it. So there you have it. There's your little update. I know you hadn't seen some of the stuff growing here in the yard in a while. She's still got her little garden down there, Melinda's little secret garden. It doesn't have as near as much stuff in it now at this point. Of course, hot weather took its toll. Some of it just matured and ran its course. So it's got a whole lot less stuff down there at the moment. But everything has been going nice and smooth here at the farm. It's just beautiful green, as you see. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This little bit of rains has just turned everything back super green. It's definitely fall coming on, but in some ways it feels like a second spring. You know, when the temperatures come back down, a little bit of moisture comes back. It's like another growing season, that fall growing season. And that is pretty wonderful. We're, we're happy that we're delaying. We really are because we can enjoy this. And man, fall is a wonderful time to enjoy. And I can enjoy these temperatures before it starts turning too cold. So I've been pretty happy. Uh, I am my my mood has came up. I tell you, ninety percent better since we've got some of these just dawning tasks behind us right now. They're very motivated, excited. Just the mere thought of getting back over and returning to the Philippines has got me very very happy. Finishing cleaning.